Hey, what's up, everybody? Colton here. So tonight, I had some free time and decided I was going to go on a kind of impromptu night fishing trip. And I wanted to get out there, test the cameras, see how they performed with the headlamp as their primary light source, and see if I could get on a night bite with some striped bass, speckled trout, or some redfish. All right? So that was my goal, and we end up getting on some pretty good fish in this video. And it was a lot of fun doing it out at night when no one else is around. It was rainy and windy and cold, and I was the only person in the entire inlet. So stick around, guys. It's going to be a great catch and cook. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. That's a trout. Oh, a good one. No, that's a little puppy. Got a little puppy drum. Look at this little guy. All right, there we go. All right, guys, so that's our first fish tonight. And he is a very little redfish. These are one of my favorite fish, so we're gonna hurry up and get this little guy back in the water. See you, buddy. There we go, guys. He's up on the surface. I think we got a trout here. Now we've got another little red. He's a little bit bigger than the first one. But still a very small red fish. All right, guys, there's our second red. Look at that blue tail. My gosh, what a pretty fish. Oh, oh, wow. I thought we lost him. He has got to be a little fish. He's... All right, that's our first trout, guys. Easy, buddy. All right. All right. He is borderline the minimal size, but actually he's a weak fish. He is not a speckled trout. Alright guys, that is a little weak fish. Alright guys, so I know I can't really show this to you very well, since it's so dark out here, but these mirror lures don't require a lot of erratic movements or fast twitches or anything like that. So 
what's most important when working these baits is that you keep everything very natural looking. So we have a very, very strong left to right current right now. So I'm casting to the left and during my retrieve, my bait is coming back towards the kayak, but it's getting washed down current. So it has a very natural appearance. There we go. That's a legal fish. That's what I'm talking about, guys. There we go. I love it. I love it. That's why we are out here in the wind and the rain. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the kitchen. So today we've got pineapple salsa, speckled trout, pan fried speckled trout. All right, so I got all the ingredients laid out for the salsa. We've got a red onion that's diced up. We have red pepper, a cup of pineapple, jalapeno, minced garlic, and one lime juiced. And we're gonna toss all that around in this bowl here. And we're gonna put that in the fridge and let that chill while we cook the trout, all right? So, cheers everybody. Let's get to work. Make sure we get all that onion out of there. And you just really want to mix all this up really good. I hope I chose a big enough bowl here. But I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. Um, I didn't know this, but the overhead lighting from the microwave burned out. So <laughs> I'm trying to not cast a shadow here while we get to work. And lastly, we're going to throw this lime juice in. So there it is guys, there's our pineapple salsa. And once we get it out of the fridge, we might add some seasoning to it, a little bit of salt, maybe some pepper. Um, and I like to put some crushed red pepper in my salsa and stuff like that. So we might try that out, but after we chill it, we'll give it a taste. But right now let's get it in the fridge and get it chilling. And let's start cooking some trout. All right guys, I wanna show you how I store my fillets. If I know there's going to be a couple of hours between after I fillet the fish, and it's time to cook, okay? So what I like to do is just put the fillets in a Ziploc bag like this one, squeeze out as much air as I possibly can, and then place the Ziploc bag in between two ice packs. And look how good those fillets look. I mean, it's as if I just filleted the fish now. So that's just the way I like to, if I know, you know, if I come off the water and then there's a few hours between that time and when I'm cooking fish for people or myself, that's how I like to store it in the fridge to keep it fresh. All right, so we got our flour here in the bowl and we're gonna add this Japanese style panko breadcrumbs from Harris Teeter to the flour. I'm just gonna dump the rest in there. I'm running low anyway. All right. And today we're gonna go with this Zest Gulf Coast Bay seasoning. Usually we do Old Bay around here, but we're going to try something a little different. This was sent to us from a good friend of ours back home in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania of all places, Gulf Coast Bay seasoning. But we're going to throw that in here. And a lot of people don't do this, most people just season their fish. But you need to add your seasoning to the flour 
and the breadcrumbs, and the breading on your fish will taste incredible. So whatever your favorite seasoning to use is, throw it in there, and you're basically seasoning up the breading for your uh, trout fillets or whatever fish you're frying. All right, so once you have your seasoning in there with your flour and your breadcrumbs, you just mix that up really good, get everything tossed together. Oh man, we are getting ready to go here. We are almost ready. That oil's heating up. This is gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about that pineapple salsa. Spread that out good. Set that aside. All right guys, so the oil's ready to go. We got the fish fillets laid out. We got our egg wash. We got our seasoned flour and breadcrumbs, and we are ready to rock. And I'm super excited about this meal. All right, so let's get to it. Again, if, if you've never fried any fish before, just gonna soak these fillets in the egg wash, get it really good and shake off the excess, let it drain off. And then get it in your mixture of breadcrumbs, flour and seasoning. Set it to the side there. All right guys, so we set the burner to medium and we've had this oil heating for about 10 to 15 minutes now. So it's ready to go and we got our fish here ready to be fried. So we're gonna go ahead and add these fillets all together and cook them at the same time. If you have enough oil, it's nice to let everything submerge itself. It's just less moving around, less flipping that you got to do while you're cooking. All right, guys, so the fish is in the oil, it's starting to fry. It'll only be about five, six minutes, and it'll be ready to go. All right guys, the fish is done. So when you're taking it out of the oil, you want either a slotted spoon or a spatula like this so that it can drain off that oil before you put it on your plate. And so most of that drained off the bottom, so when you lay it on the paper towel, just flip it over and get the rest of that. guys so we got the salsa back out we're just gonna add a little bit of salt here and I'm gonna put some crushed red peppers in here get that sweet and spicy going Now, last thing I'm going to do with this salsa is just put a little bit of olive oil in here. Just like that. Change up that consistency a little bit. And there it is. Now, Michaela's mom was in town and she brought us these Brussels sprouts. And they are 
amazing. So that's going to be our veggie today. We're going to put these on the side and we're going to have some pan fried speckled trout, some pineapple salsa. Marshall, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah. So good. That is awesome. Awesome. That is fabulous. Nice work. You like the pineapple salsa? Mm hmm. All right. I'll let you know if she's just being kind. I'm not. It's really good. But I am. Wow. Kind. <laughs> that is such an awesome blend of sweet and spicy. It really is. The jalapenos. The pineapple and the crushed red peppers. It's like, it's perfect. You, oh know, you knocked it out of the park with this one. Thanks for joining us. We're going to enjoy our dinner. Hope you guys have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Hope you have a great time.